Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi, welcome back everyone. Now we are going to discuss case number 20 in GIT contrast studies. Our patient today is a young patient, a 26 year old, presented with chronic diarrhea and abdominal pain. So this is the anteroposity a spot radiograph of enterocolysis. Enterocolysis is done to show a small bubble. So you can see the NG tube in the duodenum extending to the DJ flexure. And uh, there are abnormalities mainly in the ileum. Here you can see ileum. So there's a disruption of the normal valvular conventus in the ileum, and also you can see few narrowings, short segment narrowings or strictures. Strictures are the it is called string sign. Call it string sign these narrowings so they are actually smooth narrowings and their wall is walls are regular and also you can see some ulcerations deep pulses here those here you call them rose thorn ulcers and uh, so there's some kind of uh, spacing in the ileal loops so due to its creeping fat, though there's separation of small bowel loops you can see in the ileum. So distance is increased when compared to jejunal loops here. So there's separation of the small bowel loops and also some uh, circulations like appearance. They call pseudo circulations in pseudo circulations when you occur in the small bowel you call them pseudo circulations or pseudo hostra. And also, you can see uh, that actually the jejunum appears normal, and so that mainly the ileal involvement is there, and uh, you don't see mass like lesions in this barium study, enterocolysis study, and uh, in the cecal lumen is also narrowed. And uh, there are no fistula formations and contrast leakage into the peritoneal cavity. So in this case, the diagnosis is Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease. So there are multiple lesions in the terminal ileum. So differential diagnosis are ulcerative colitis and also you need to think of any uh, neoplasms those are few uh, differential diagnosis and also TB ileal involvement in tuberculosis also you have to think of so when you consider Crohn's disease uh, they occur in young people and mainly the ileal involvement is there and also there's large bowel involvement and uh, Small and large bowl both can be involved and sometimes stomach. esophagus can be involved. So any part of the GI tract can be involved. There are usually skip lesions and there are perianal abscess formations can be there and they can cause bowel obstruction. And also you have to keep in mind about the extra intestinal manifestations like sclerosing cholangitis, GB calculi, renal calculi, then the Serial negative arthritis, sacroiliitis, those are things you have to keep in your mind when you're dealing with this inflammatory bowel disease. So there's a malignant risk in the bowel also in the Crohn's disease, but it is higher in ulcerative colitis compared to Crohn's disease. So that concludes case number 20 in 
GIT Contra Studies. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you will get notifications of our new videos, and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.